I grew up Presbyterian, which is very similar to Methodist in a lot of their doctrines. And we had a, a good church and a good youth group, which was a strong foundation for me. I think my parents, uh, I kind of would call them special event Christians. They always made sure I, that us kids went to church, but they didn't necessarily go. As I grew up, you know, I never doubted that there was a God, but he was always just out there somewhere. He wasn't here. I just kept getting busier and busier, and I finally started to notice that I had an emptiness inside, and I couldn't really pin, you know, I put, couldn't put a name on it, I couldn't figure out what it was about, but it just kept gnawing at me. So I'd try and do more things. I, you know, fill my life, you know, busier schedule and doing more things for the kids or with the kids, and, and it just wasn't going away until um, at one point, it was in 1996, that I signed up for the Disciple Bible Study. My kids were pretty much grown, and I decided it was time to do something for myself. And I'd always wanted to do something like that. And so I signed up for that. And that was a game changer for me, because I realized that I had never really invited God to be a part of my life. I'd never asked him to be a part of my life. And one morning, doing my reading and my prayers, I had a very strong experience where I literally felt the Holy Spirit fill me. And that void is gone. And so every day <clears throat> now, I ask God to walk with me and be a part of my life and guide me. I believe that we are created to be a part, to have God a part of our life. And I believe that's why that emptiness was inside of me. Yeah. You hear so often, oh, I don't need to go to church. I worship in the woods or I worship in the outdoors, which is great because I love being outdoors and I love, you know, enjoying the beauty that God created. But you need a fellowship of believers. You need to have a community of support and a family. I call this church my family. It's part of my family.